two, 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 da, 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 okay? The power series for this is simply x to the zero plus x to the one plus x to the two plus x to the three plus da, 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 which needs to be multiplied by the power series of this, which is two x to the zero plus two x to the one plus two x squared plus two x cubed plus da, da, da. Don't forget, once again, this is going to, when we multiply this power series by this power series, we're going to end up with a power series. So the x0 term, okay, the coefficient of it, okay, is going to be the power functions whose exponents add to give 0. And the only possible is the 0 plus the 0 here. So we're going to multiply the coefficient of the x0 times the coefficient of the x0 over here, which is effectively 1 times 2, okay, plus the coefficients of the x to the 1 term, okay, is, well, we're going to look for power functions here, okay, power terms, and uh, when we multiply the power term here by a power term over here, we should get a, a, an exponent of a 1. So x to the 0 times x to the 1 here gives us an exponent of a 1. So it's going to be 1 times 2 here. So it's going to be 1 times 2. Plus... The next possibility is x to the 1 times x to the 0. Its coefficients is also 1 times 2. Plus, when it comes to the x squared term, there's going to be 3. So this time we have to choose uh, power terms. Yeah, that when we multiply them by another power term, we get x squared. So x0 times x squared here gives us x squared. So the coefficients are, once again, it's a 1 times a 2. Plus x1 times x1 gives us x squared. The coefficient here is a 1 and a 2 again, so it's 1 times 2 plus x squared times x0 gives us an x squared term. Its coefficient is a 1 times a2. And then let's just do one more. Let's say when it comes to the x cubed term, okay, and that sequence is going to continue. What we have this time is we're going to have four terms. So the, the, the power series terms, their exponents, when we take two of them, their exponents, when we multiply them, their exponents must come to 3. So x0 times x3 gives us an x3. Its coefficient here is a 1, its coefficient is a 2. So 1 times 2. Plus x1 times x squared gives us an x cubed. So that's going to be also a 1 times a 2. The coefficient times the coefficient. The x2 times the x1 okay, gives us a 3. So the coefficient times the coefficient, once again, is a 1 times a 2. Plus, the next term, x3 times x0 gives us an x3. Its coefficient is a 1. Its coefficient is a 2. And what we end up with is it continues in this fashion. And hopefully what we can actually see that we have, what we have is we have 1 times 2 gives us 2x0. Plus, this is a 2 plus a 2 gives us 4x1. Plus, a 2 plus a 2 plus a 2, there's 3 of them, gives us 6x squared. Plus, 2, 2, 2, 2, there's 4 of them, gives us 8x cubed plus dot, dot, dot. Now, this power series is encoding the sequence 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on. It's encoding, it's encoding the natural number, uh, the, the even natural numbers, okay, or the even integers. Yeah? Okay. So, we, what is its generating function? Well, its generating function must be the product of the two generating functions associated with the two sequences that multiply to give us that. Okay? So, don't forget. We have g1 of x for the constant sequence is simply 1 over 1 minus x. Uh, for the constant sequence of 2s, we have g2 of x is simply equal to 2 times 1 over, over, over 1 minus x. And their product, g1 of x times g2 of x, is simply equal to 1 over 1 minus x times 2 over 1 minus x, which is given us 1 times 2 gives us 2. 1 minus x times 1 minus x is 1 minus x squared, which is, and let's go back here, okay, which is what we had, which we generated in a previous video using a different technique, okay? So what we ended up with is 2 over 1 minus x squared, which is what we expected. This is the generating function of twice the natural numbers, okay? Okay, guys, uh, so you, the key point from this particular video here is that when we multiply any sequence by the constant sequence of ones, okay, the effect is to produce a sequence that is the running summation, that represents the running summation of the terms in the sequence. Okay? That's the key point here. Okay? 
Uh, okay, guys. So once again, this is Jonathan Lambert uh, with Maths and Stats. Uh, and I hope that this video uh, dealing with generating functions and some examples of sequence multiplication, uh, I hope that this was in some way uh, intuitive and more importantly, I hope that was helpful for you. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye bye.